Hello everyone. Today's webinar is on a new tool in Terra Modeler, Compute Stockpile Volume, which makes it easy to compute a stock volume from a point cloud. The tool is available in all versions of Terra Modeler full version, UAV, and light version. It only requires that you have a point cloud and you draw a 2D polygon around the stockpile. So it can compute the volume without you creating any triangulated models in Terra Modeler. There's other volume computation tools in Terra Modeler, such as Compute Quantity, and it has more options and more capabilities, but it does have, have more requirements on what you need to do to prepare things for the computation. So the way Compute stockpile volume operates. First of all, the user should select one or multiple polygons. So if it's multiple polygons, each polygon represents one stockpile. And the selection set can include text elements. A text label inside each polygon giving each stockpile a name. The top surface can be a triangulated model. So if you do create a triangulated model, you can use that as the top surface. Or the top surface can be selected classes of points loaded into TerraScan. And what the software does, it builds a triangulated top surface, the point cloud, if we are using the point cloud, it drapes the selected polygon to the triangulated model. It builds a base triangulated model from the polygon. And then it computes the volume between the two triangulated models, but at the end, it will free any triangulated model it has created in the process. I have some DJI L1 data loaded. I have done splitting of trajectories. I have matched passes. I have done a cut overlap. I have done smoothen and remove noise. I have classified ground. I have done a quick check of the ground and I have classified height from ground. So my point classes are 5.7 million points in ground. A lot of points in low vegetation, points in medium and points in high vegetation and a handful of points classified as low points. Uh, in Terra Modeler, I don't have any surfaces created. The uh, simplest stockpile volume computation would go like this. I change to shading so that I see the shape of a stockpile. I use place polygon. To draw a polygon. around its stockpile perimeter. I select 
the polygon, I go to compute stockpile volume. I say that I do want to view the result or the computation in display only. I say that my top surface is the point cloud class 2, ground class. And I say compute. And then I get the volume and the surface area that was computed and the maximum height. And I would want to check the result a little bit or the computation. As the software has created thin model on the fly, so it has interpolated a base triangulated model using a draped polygon. And I do want to look at cross sections a little to see that the lines in color, that they look sensible. And everything looks good. And that's the simplest possible stockpile volume computation. I will show a little bit more complexity. So I have many bigger stockpiles at this site. I can draw polygons around those. So this is something that I've done manually. I do want to pay some attention to the classification now. I have done normal ground classification, but my stockpiles often have quite steep slopes and not, not everything necessarily gets classified as ground. So what I may do is I'll select the polygons that I have drawn and I will run a macro or run classify ground with inside fence only, meaning inside the polygons only, and we add points to the ground with a very big iteration angle, 30. So I run this one to make sure that all the relevant peaks in the stockpile are part of the ground class. And now I will have ground everywhere. And whenever I have multiple stockpiles, it's good if I create labels, some kind of a naming for the stockpiles, so that in the report I get five different volumes and I can link the numbers to the individual stockpiles. I will select all of these. Maybe now I will hide the point classes and I go to compute stockpile volume. Now I suspect that I have bigger height. So I put 10 meters as the setting. At 10 meter height, the vertical line draw at each 
computed pillar. The color will be red if the height is 10 meters or higher. So now I have five different stockpiles. I get five different volumes, five times computed area, and I get the maximum height in each stockpile. Again, it is good to do a little bit of viewing. Because the base thin model has been created automatically. And at this site, the underlying ground is not completely flat. So I would want to look at the computation result to understand that my base model is acceptable. And things are looking looking good. And thank you everyone for following. This was all on the compute stockpile volume, a simple tool for computing stockpile volumes directly from a point cloud. And all you have to do really is do normal processing of the point cloud. Make sure that ground has all the relevant features on the stockpiles and, and draw polygons around the stockpiles. And you do have the option of creating a nice looking report. Thank you.